What's good? We back once again. It's the Boston Clinic, and we got some breaking news coming in. Um, top rank, Bob Arum, um, you know, Vasyl Um Sounds like they're agreeing upon a weight class move uh, sometime in 2018. Um, Lomachenko intends to move up, move up to lightweight to 135 pounds to pursue more lucrative bouts with uh, Jorge Linares, Robbie Jr. Um, I'll leave an article link in the description. You know, Mikey Garcia potentially, I mean, you know, big more big names, I guess. You know, since Devontae Tank Davis don't want to fight him, um, he, he said he wanted to pursue and try to become, uh, you know, a unified champion at 130 pounds, which it may not happen. Um, you know, Jerezzo Corrales, I think he just lost his belt um, to some guy. I mean, Tank don't want to fight, even though Tank, don't, Tank and Tevin is going through that saga. Hopefully they fight soon. Um you know, him and Tevin and, and Lomachenko was good friends, so I don't know if they're going to fight. They sparred a lot together. Um, that would be an amazing fight to watch because Te- Tevin is so slick. And um, Lomachenko is, is awkward, unorthodox. But, um, you know, he wants to set his sight on more lucrative balls, and it's definitely more money at 135. Um, you know, it, it depends on what Mikey Garcia does. I mean, that's the fight that he probably wants to target. Um, Garcia don't think top rank wants to work with him to make that fight. <laughs> But um, is this a – is they conceding the fact that he may lose on the Reagan dial and then they going to move up? Um, I don't know, but um, be a good plan. I mean, some good interesting fights. Jorge Linares, I mean, Easter, um, you know, Mikey. Um, some nice little fights for Lomachenko, you know, some fights that we, we would enjoy, um, you know. And, you know, I think he can win a lot of them. Um, see what he do versus Reagan dial this week. Um, we all gonna have our eyeballs glued on to that TV set for show for show, and um, you know, I ain't mad at him for not pursuing you know one thirty no more. I mean, for what? There ain't no names there. I mean, Miguel Birch. I mean, you know, I guess they gonna do the Salido fight and then get the get the hell up out of there. He probably fight three times next year, so they might do a Salido fight. Get out there. I, I don't understand why they don't want him to unify. Maybe because some of the the fights are too hard to make. At 130, and it's not worth the money as far as Birch being with, doing a lot of work with HBO. Tan, I mean, Tevin now signed a multi deal with HBO. Seems like everything that Top Rank is trying to do is even with the Danil at light heavyweight, it's tied to Kovalev, it's tied to go through HBO. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Bob Aaron finesses this out. Um, but um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Hopefully, we get Mikey and Lomachenko. Uh, that'll be a nice little fight, especially coming off the off a, a potential rigging down win. And a potential Salido win. And then, you know, building that Mikey Garcia. But it's interesting to see what Mikey Garcia is going to do. They saying Omar Figueroa. A lot of y'all saying, oh, if it's at 40, it's not going to be at 47. If anything, it'd be a catch weight. But Omar Figueroa said he was stopping at 147 and going back down to 140. He's going back down to 140 pounds. Unless I I, I missed the, the memo where he couldn't make the weight no more. Maybe that, that might be a possibility. He had a long layoff. He had to let his hands rest. But I'm, I'm, from what I understand, my sources say that fight, is, if it happens, it's going to be at 140. And um, Figueroa said he was going back down to 140. And uh, Diaz, his trainer, said he was going back down to 140. So that fight going to be at 140. Um, so we'll see what happens in the grand scheme of things. But uh, it's a boxing clinic. We gone.